So we're here with the one and only, the big man himself, Austin Lips. It's Austin Lips. Same thing, bro. Austin first and last name. <laughs> so we're doing a little podcast. I hit up Austin. I'm like, yo, we got to do something, bro. Like, we need more clips of you talking about fitness and stuff. So I'm like, yo, let's run this. Bro, this is why most of y'all aren't successful. Like, like I texted Austin last night. Like, bro, let's do something. He's like, what? I'm like, dude, let's run a podcast. He's like, fuck it. Let's run it, bro. Yeah. We on it, man. Time is money. We got no time to waste. Got to work with speed, bro. So how'd you get in the fitness industry, bro? First off. So first of all, I had a friend, you know, about a year, a year back. He told me, yo, you post every day on Snapchat, you know, your progress photos. Why don't you make a lifting account? You know, people would be, you know, happy to see your progress. And I was like, that would be fun. I, so I started a lifting page that day. I was thinking, you know, what should the name be? I put it Austin Lifts. Austin, Lift was, Austin Lifts wasn't available. So we put Austin Lifts. And then Austin, you know, transformed into my brand. You know, Sawsome. Um... But yeah, I mean, the fitness industry is a great industry as long as you keep spreading positivity and be true to yourself, you know? Shit, do you think you have a lot of haters? I think I do have a lot of haters. I think there's a lot of people that want to see me fail, which, you know, anybody successful is going to have haters. So if I have haters... Obviously, before, like, you are right now, you were like a nobody before, right? Like, yeah. So, like... How did people treat you when, when you were nobody? And how do people treat you now when you're somebody? I mean, before I started my fitness page, no followers. I was skinny. I was good at basketball. But when you're skinny, when you're not confident in your body, people don't respect you as much. People will bully you. People will make fun of you. And, you know, they don't care about you, you know. But when you do start to have, you know, a good physique, when you respect yourself more, when people think they can get something from you, when people are like, oh, this is sauced and lifts, you know? They're like, oh, I respect you, man. You know, I, I just feel that anybody that goes to the gym, you know, it can save your life, bro. It can make you more comfortable in your body. It really can. So... What do you think about guys chasing girls and drugs and weed, drugs and weed, instead of fitness and their success? I think the basics of chasing unhealthy dopamine is terrible. You know, playing video games, watching corn, I think that's terrible. I think once you build a good physique, once you develop the confidence within yourself, all of that extra stuff will come to you. And if it doesn't come to you, it's not meant to be, you know, but you shouldn't go out of your way to try to get whether it's bad pleasure, unnecessary pleasure, you know, God will find a way as long as you are working hard and you're true to yourself, you know. I, so what's like, what's like some key elements of fitness and like what's some principles that, that, that you follow? You told me like, yo, I need eight or 10 hours of sleep. What else? I mean, the basics of fitness is getting at least eight hours of sleep. You have to train hard. You know, some people train four days a week, some people train five days a week. You know, if you're trying to lose weight, cardio is the best way to do it. Walk at least 10,000 steps a day, you know? And diet is so important. If you're trying to lose weight, be in a calorie deficit. You can't break the law of science. If you're eating less calories than you burn, you're gonna lose weight. But if you're eating more calories than you burn, you're going to gain weight. That's the same weight. Exactly. So let me ask you this. If I was a skinny little kid, white kid, playing basketball. What? <laughs> Does the race matter? <laughs> yeah. That was me, bro. That was me. Okay, whatever. Never done fitness. You're a freshman in high school. You want to get some girls. You want to get some, get some cash, whatever, right? How do you start with fitness? Like, where do I start? Like, where do you start? You get a gym membership. If you're, not confident to, if you're not confident enough to go to the gym yet, you do 100 push-ups a day. You can do 10 at a time. If you can't do 20 at a time, it's perfectly fine. You know, start small. Start by 10 push-ups a day. Momentum is so important in life. Mom- momentum is so important in bedding yourself. So 
give me a realistic time frame. Like, when when will I get my bicep wing? Give me, like, some time time frame. You really want that bicep wing, don't you? Yeah. I'm in, and it's hard for me to pull girls, but I still pull it, so. Realistic time frame. Three months, I will I will be seeing visible progress. If I'm a freshman, give me three months. You know, you can take progress photos maybe twice a week to see... Um, where you've been from like yeah if you're improving that's the best way you know if you're feeling like you have body dysmorphia or whatever if you look three months back yo i actually did gain some muscle yo i look like i might not feel the best today but that's because our bodies don't notice that we are you know in fact improving every day and like look look at from this point of view like you've been doing all the bad habits for like like for like two to three years like you'll be taking drugs you're smoking weed and like you're Three months in the gym, it's not going to go away. It's going to take a longer time. So, like, you've done all the bullshit, and you're expecting to go in three months. That's unrealistic. You have you got to have realistic time frames to do realistic shit. It can't be, like, 400 pounds except, like, 400 pounds and, like, in three months looking like... You're hey, man, I always say if you are 300 pounds, 400 pounds, if you're trying to lose weight, you shouldn't be trying to lose it in two months because the more weight you do lose, the more muscle you'll also lose. And we don't want that because at the same time, what if you do lose the weight? Then you're, you're, you're probably starving yourself. You know, it's an unrealistic, you know, lifestyle. You're not going to enjoy doing cardio three hours a day and starving yourself for the rest of your life. So do you take any supplements like vitamin D, vitamin C or creatine? So I take creatine. I take alpha line pre-workout now. Get you some 10 percent off code sauce. We just signed yesterday. And I also take, what do I take? I always, I always trip up when it comes to these three things. Protein powder. So if I was starting from zero, I should start with protein powder, vitamins. No, what you, what you should start with is chicken, rice, steak. You should start with whole foods, you know? Protein powder is great, you know? Maybe one scoop a day, maybe two scoops max, but... You should focus on the real foods because you want the nutrients in your body, especially if you're a freshman in high school. You don't want that, that protein powder to fill up your whole diet, man. So, okay, I'm in the gym now. It's three months. How do I make friends at the gym? How do I go up to girls and talk to them? <laughs> How do you make friends? How do you make friends at the gym? I would say a few great ways to do it. You know, you can ask someone for a spot. Hey, can I have a spot, bro? Um... Yeah, so can I have a lift off? I'm going for four reps on this exercise. You know, I haven't hit this in a while. I mean, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do this. Um, another great way, like if you're trying to go up to a girl, you know, people always say, don't go up to girls in the gym. Oh, they're going to think it's creepy. But, bro, just, just be a human being, bro. Like humans are meant to talk to each other. Humans are meant to have healthy relationships, bro. Bro, sh she's not going to, like, slap you or some shit. She's uh, going to be like, oh, even if you go up, she'll be like, yo, you're absolutely beautiful or some bullshit like yeah. that. She'll be like, oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> he said so, some BS. <laughs> she's not going to ask you to fuck off, bro. Like, it's validation for them. So yeah. They're human. I mean, at the end of the day, just if you're trying to get a girl at the gym, just go up to her. Whether it's do not go up to a girl in between, your, in between her set, bro. That is the worst thing to do, bro. <laughs> she got to take her, her AirPods out. She's like, she already on the wrong foot. But if she, if she, you can tell, you know, if she glances at you a few times, maybe if you can tell that she might be slightly into you, you know, go up to her and say, hey, I saw that you were staring at me. Nah, that's what, <laughs> I'm, I'm bro, Austin has no risk, bro. If a, if a girl, look. I run a modeling agency. I know more all than him. <laughs> so look, if she looks at you in the eyes, you just go up to them. No, okay, I take that back. If she looks at you in the eyes once, okay, cool. She looks at you twice. If you if if you have the gut feeling like yo, like this chick is checking me out, just go up and talk to her, bro. Just say hey, how you doing? Or like oh, she's doing bicep curls. Oh, how many sets do you got? Some bullshit, bro. She wants to talk to me anyway. She don't care. So it's not that hard, bro. Hey man, if you fail. At, at, least at least you, you try. try. That's what I'm at least you try. like you'll feel better after failing. And if you, even if you do like fall on your face when you're talking to her, bro, you'll feel better about yourself that you actually tried. And here's another thing: like people look like 
people look at like failure as like ba- a bad thing. Yeah. Like failure is not a bad thing. At least you tried something. Yeah. It's like progress. Like at least you did something. Yeah, I'd rather tr- I'd rather fail a hundred times and then get it that a hundred and first time. One hundred percent, bro. You know, they always say, "Oh, a winner is a failure who tried that one more time." Like all these CEOs, you look at even Austin. Like, like he didn't post one Instagram, yeah. like. Real that blew up. He posts a shitloads that blew up. I've been posting every day for over a year straight, man. That's why it blew up. It's not. It's not overnight success, but it's gonna take a lot of work for anything you wanna do in life. You know, a lot of people say two years of hard work equals overnight success. You know, they might not see all the progress. They might not see all this success until you have put in that a thousand, a hundred thousand hours, and then definitely. You know, then you get that valid video, and then they're like, oh, he's valid. You know, and then people start to mess with you, but you just got to be yourself, bro. At the end of the day. What's your thoughts on depression? Depression? Depression. I'm depressed, Austin. What do I do? Man, if you're depressed, I think you should be chasing healthy dopamine at the end of the day, whatever that is. What do you mean by healthy dopamine? Healthy dopamine. Healthy dopamine examples, going to the gym, going for a run, getting eight hours of healthy sleep. Eating healthy foods. If you're depressed, I would I would estimate nine times out of ten. You know, if it's not you know uh, medical depression, if if you're just feeling sad, I would I would estimate nine times out of ten you're still you know maybe eating McDonald's every day, Wendy's, KFC. You know, it might be hard to to quit those unhealthy foods because oh your mouth thirsts when you think about it, right? That fried that fried chicken. Might might feel good in your mind, but the second you eat it, you're gonna feel bad about yourself. You're gonna like maybe gain a pound or two, and then, you know, it, a lot of it is your your overthinking, your anxiety. A lot of that comes from. Do you think Do you think it comes from inaction too, like just like sitting at one place? Yeah, I think if I sat around all day and watched Netflix, I, I would be depressed, bro. <laughs> I would be depressed. I would have no no will to live, bro. I I mean. The gym has saved my life, bro. Going to the gym, interacting with other people. You know, when I say the gym, I mean everything the gym has came. You know, I have a clothing brand. I have a fitness clothing brand that resulted in me working my ass off in the gym. You know, I have a lot of friends that I've met through the gym. Damn, so yeah, camera died, whatever. So, <laughs> so we were talking about like, it's not about you going to the gym, it's about you getting in shape and like commanding respect from other people. So like, let's say me and you walk into business meeting, meeting with me and Austin, right? If you're fat, you have acne on your face, you look like shit. Like, <laughs> bro, we're not going to respect you. We're not going to take you seriously. You come to me and be like, yo, I need a million dollars. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm not going to trust you with my money. You look fucking lazy. Like, no. If Whereas like a nigga like, whereas a person like... <laughs> yeah, we cutting that out. <laughs> Where if a per- where, whereas if a person like Austin walks in like in shape, he's going to be like, yo, I need some investment for money. Let's talk business. I'll be like, yeah, let's do it. Because I trust him. He's in shape. But yeah, so. Hey, man, just the basics of being in shape and having good hygiene, you know, like your breath smells good. Your fa- I, you don't have to have the clearest face. But if obviously if you are eating a bunch of crap all day, you're going to get more acne. If, you know, you smell good. If you're in shape, it's, you know, people are gonna just feel the energy that you have, that you have respect for yourself to be in shape. You have the, you know, the confidence to make that sale, whether it is in business, you know, whatever business you are in at the end of the day. But it all leads into different aspects of, you know, your life. So you just graduated high school. So three weeks ago, four weeks maybe? Three, Three weeks ago, man. What's your plans now, bro? So my plans, I'll be attending Rollins College. I am majoring in business management, so this is going to be fun. Hopefully, I have some smart teachers that like me, that are willing to put up with me, you feel me? And, yeah, man, Rollins is beautiful. It's a beautiful campus. Is you it know, private? It's a private school. Big money, Austin. Big. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there's going to be a lot of content that I'm planning on making there, so that's going to be fun. Um, Wait, so if I was a kid in high school right now, I, I have a few... I, I have a normal job. I have I have a bunch of money here and there, like one or two k in my savings. I'm tr- I'm trying to get in shape, like, and I want to connect specifically with you. How do I do it? Like, how do I like be like you? How do I talk to you? Like, how do I get connected with you? I mean, obviously, my social media accounts. You know, social media in general. What's your social media's? My I mean, my social media tags at Austin Lifts usually on 
Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Those are my main platforms. I mean, the best way to connect with anybody is through social media nowadays. Social media has changed how we view our lives. I mean, I mean, so the other, so I've, I've, I've like, let's say I have like three hundred dollars. Do I? Do you have any course I can buy or some shit to like get in shape? Yeah, so I'm actually coming out with an online fitness course soon. So if you are if you are interested, I'm going to be an online coach in about two to three weeks. You know, I'm planning on making the website and filling everything out right now so that in about two to three weeks, if you are interested, if you are ready to invest in your body and trust me as your online coach to reach your fitness goals, to reach your dream physique, you know, I would be more than happy to help if you are ready to push past your limits. So about t- two to three weeks, I- I'm going to be releasing my course. If you want to get in shape, be a beast, pull hell of chicks like me and Austin. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Get, get the fitness program. Hey, you know what to do. The door is ready for you, man. Hey. Bro, it's on you. It's, it's like the reason why we're doing this podcast is like we're not doing it for us. We don't care. Me and Austin talk like this all the time, bro. Like It's for you guys for to see and like learn from us. Like I, I'm not in fitness. I mean, I do work out, but like. My specific niche is money. His niche is fitness. We're trying to help you guys. Trying to give you value. Like, trying to yeah, help you guys, man. bro. That's the main thing. Hell yeah, Damn. man. What's your thoughts on Tate getting famous and, like, self-improvement getting bigger and bigger every day? Do you think it's a good, positive impact on masculine? I mean, I think self-improvement as a whole is, you know, you might call it toxic masculinity, whatever, bro. I think the basics of being a man is to be strong, you know, to care about your loved ones, to work hard every day, even if you don't feel like it. You know, I think I think that's what a, a man should do. I mean, that's what I like to do. That's what makes me feel fulfilled. You know, and that if I do get a girlfriend someday, if I get a girlfriend whenever, you know, I will be the the alpha in that relationship. Misogynist. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. The word alpha is so, like, corny now when I see it on social media. But, yeah, man, like, that's what, you know, you go to the gym, you feel strong, you, you get stronger. Do you think a man is responsible for everything in his life that happens to him? To a degree, I think you put yourself in certain situations to succeed. I think if you, you know, if, you, if your parents have money, you know, you are at an advantage. Of course. You bro. know, if you, if you have good genetics... You are at an advantage, whether it's physique-wise. Um, but you play the cards you're dealt with, man. I'm not six foot. I'm five ten, bro. Am bro. I gonna make excuses on why? Fuck no, bro. On why I can't do anything with my life? No, bro. I'm Indian. I'm still printing like thousands of dollars a day. I try. I don't <laughs> it's, it's harder for me because I'm fucking Indian. People look like a joke. But like, yeah. When you talk to me, you're like this guy's a shit. But yeah, bro. You just gotta whatever it is. You have to respect yourself. You have to say, you know what? I might not be. This person, yeah, I might not be my best self yet, but if I respect myself enough to have confidence that I will work hard in this, whatever niche, whatever your goals are, you know. But let's talk about, um, let's talk about how you almost canceled on us earlier today. Okay, so. <laughs> Come on, now. So, I was at a chick's house, right? I'm having my little fun. And... It's raining. I'm, I, I, and so we, I texted Austin last night, yo, we got to do a podcast. He's like, cool. And I'm like, shit, it's raining. I'm with my girl. We're having a little bit of fun. You know what I'm saying? And Austin texts me saying, oh, I text, I was just saying, bro, I think I'm going to cancel. And Austin's like, yo, your ass is not canceling, bro. And it hit me. I'm like, he's like, bro, you can't be making plans and canceling. Because it, then it hit me like, yo. I can't prioritize my girl over my, what's it called? My business. My business. Like this. Come on now. I can't. It hit me and Austin made me realize. Here's another thing I was going to talk about. The people you surround you yourself with should help you be accountable. Like you can't. Like, okay, what's your thoughts on your friends? Like, hey, what, man, what, be, type, what type of friends? Should, before we get into this friend stuff, I will show you all the receipts. Oh, let me not show that part. All right. It's raining. Let's do the podcast next month. <laughs> month? <laughs> month? I hope he was joking about that. Hey, 
We can do it inside. Don't matter. If it was raining, we're doing the podcast inside. There are no excuses. We won't be canceling half the shit we planned. Not very G of you. <laughs> yeah, I got exposed, hey. Uh, so, yeah, he was trying to cancel. I said, nah, bro. We said yesterday, you know, we're making a podcast tomorrow. There's a time. Let's do it. We're doing outside or whatever. If it rains, we're going inside, bro. There are no excuses, you know. Um, I think let, let, now we move on to who you surround yourself with, bro. All of my friends, bro, if you are my friend, you know, I want you to help me, whether it's content-wise, whether it's mentally, you know, physique-wise, whatever I'm trying to have goals in my life. Like, if, I, if you're my friend, like, you're helping me stay accountable for my actions. If I say, oh, I don't want to film a YouTube video today, but then my cameraman or Ashaz is over here saying, bro, you said you were going to do this. That wasn't the person you said yesterday that you had all of these goals, you know? So, like, your friends are the people that you might not want to hear the hard truth about yourself, that you are being lazy, but, you know, they're going to tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear at the end of the day. And I feel like if you have good friends, is the easiest way to excel in life. Like, the reason I, I have all this money semi-successful <laughs> se- semi- is because yeah. I surrounded myself with good people. Like, all I, I, provided, I provided value to them. I just, like... I'm not sitting here with Austin, like, leeching off him for followers. Shit. I don't care. I'm helping him return with something. Like, we have, we have business going on, whatever, right? But you got to surround... If, if you want to get rich, the easiest way is to surround yourself with people who are already getting shit done. It's Network easy, is bro. net worth. They st- Literally. Hey, I used to... When I first started my social media accounts, I used to talk to nobody. I would go on TikTok Live all day. I'd be like, oh, I'm a lone wolf. Like, I can do all this shit by myself. But the more you progress, the more you realize, you know. You're like, fuck, I need yeah. good friends. I, like, need I need people good friends. That, I need people that will help me level up. You know, I can't do this shit. But, like, you know, I start a clothing brand. I think, oh, my gosh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell all this myself. You know, I don't want nobody to help me. You know, like, I would like to have, you know, some people helping me along the way, whether it's make sales, promote the business, help me make a YouTube video. You Fair, know? Like, like wear around school and shit like yeah. going out wear his merch like going to the gym like I was wearing his merch at the gym the other day someone sent a picture like yeah. yo this guy got your merch on yeah bro. but yeah that's what it is man if you surround yourself with positive energy you know it's so much easier you know when time is rough when time I think I think Tate says that he's like surround yourself with five losers you're gonna be the sixth one yeah. surround yourself with five millionaires you're gonna be the sixth one yeah so it is true it is absolutely true do you have any stories like you being surrounded by bad, bad friends and then... I do have a story. All right, let's, let's hear it, bro. First story from Austin on this podcast ever. First story from me. All right, y'all. So, these people are actually your friends. You know, I have a friend... Mutual friends, same guy. Whatever, Yeah, right? so he... He has a lot of potential. He has a good physique. You know, he has a lot going for him. He's an attractive man. You know, we actually went on an ASL field trip. Him and one of his other friends, you know, I was in his class, so I was in their group. It was a group of about eight people. So, you know, I have this teacher. She hasn't really liked us all year. You know, there's, we have a lot of stories that we could tell about that. But let's get to the broad point. She never really liked us. She had something against us all year. You know, it was, we went on a field trip to Bush Gardens. We were, we were there all day. We woke up at six o'clock. We got home at about, say, 8 o'clock. And basically, I almost got ISS, which is in-school suspension, for hanging around with these kids that, you know, one of them cursed at the teacher. One of them, you know, went on a ride that, you know, delayed the bus trip like an hour to go home. So I wasn't in the best group of people. So she gave all of us ISS. She was about to give all of us ISS. Because I was around these people, I was around these negative people that were around the school and, you know, cursed out the teacher, she had something against me because I was friends with them technically in the class and I almost got ISS and this was right before I spoke at graduation. I was so scared, you know, in a, in a second, I'm over here praying to God that I can speak at graduation 
because I was preparing two months for the speech. I was practicing two days after school, a day with a, with a coach helping me prepare for the speech. And then in a second, I learned everything could just get taken away from you in a split second, whatever it is. But you just have to, you know, pray to God, you know, things will be okay. So I apologized to her. I was the most respectful person to her after the situation. I said, I'm very sorry. Very, very sorry. If I could go back in time, you know, I would change it. I never wanted to, you know, make anybody's day worse at the end of the day. I don't live my life like that. I don't want to do that. You know, I'm a dumb kid. Sometimes I might make mistakes, you know. What I got in trouble for was talking because we were in ASL class. And then I went on to a field. I went on to a ride with another girl. And then... Austin oh, pulling hose. <sighs> And then I got ISS. I was about to get ISS for it, so I apologize. Yo, she, and we don't have like, anything against the kid. Like, he's yeah, super cool. I yeah, still love I still talk to him that day. But yeah, just, like, like, we're cool with him. But <sighs> hanging around with people can put you in terrible situations that you don't want to be in, you know? But at least it got lowered down to a detention, so I served my detention, which, I mean, any, and nobody wants to serve a detention, you know? I, I felt like such a bad kid going to a detention. But I knew I'm going to go to this detention. I'm still speaking at graduation. God still got me. God still has a plan for me that I can speak at graduation. And, like, this is, this is what I've been looking forward to for the past two months, you know. And it, all of that could have got taken away in a split second. So thank you, Jesus, man. I mean, when I, was a, I remember when I was a freshman, I walked into the bathroom. Everyone was smoking weed. Like, I walked in there like, one day I walk in there smoking, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Second day I walk in there smoking, whatever. Third day I'm like, yo, I want to smoke weed. Because I was hanging out with those people. Yeah. What, what advice, what's your advice to, like, the freshmen that are just coming in high school? Freshmen, bro. Nothing against if you vape, if you smoke weed in the bathrooms, I could care less about you. If you are a freshman and you have never smoked or vaped in your life, the easiest way to not get peer pressure into doing it is to make it clear that you're not gonna smoke. You know, if somebody, if somebody asks me, yo, Austin, do you wanna drink tonight? Yo, do you wanna smoke, finally? You're gonna smoke weed with us, bro. Like, one day we're gonna get lit. I'm like, nah, bro, I don't wanna do it. But if you give them that 1% chance that you might do it, like, yo, maybe, like, oh, like, I might want to. Like, if you give them the chance, like, the chance that you could do it, they're going to take advantage of that and they're going to be like, oh, be cool, bro. Why don't you smoke? You're not cool. I think that, you know? I think that comes from like setting boundaries for yourself. Yeah. Like, I know the biggest boundary Austin have is like, so I smoke cigars. I don't care. I'll say it openly. I'll, we, we, I'll smoke cigars. Like, Austin, do you want to hit it? Do you want to hit it? He's like, bro, I'm not hitting it. Nah, bro. bro. Like, people, like, I like how he says boundaries for himself. Most people, you got to learn how to set boundaries for yourself. Like, someone gives me, I'm going to be like, yo, I don't want to smoke. Like, yeah, bro. Like, I don't care. My old stepbrother, Used to smoke every single day, bro. <laughs> never smoked once with him. Never smoked once. I'd never had, never had a desire for it. You know, it's just, I don't want to do it. I don't care how many times you try to peer pressure me into doing it. I just, I respect myself too much. You know, I don't think you're going to, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world to smoke a vape or smoke some weed, but you know and i'm not saying like you can't try it but like you getting you can try like i yeah. don't care if you try it like but like if you get addicted to it that's yeah. your fault and that's your responsibility if, yeah even if you get addicted to many things in this world it could it could ruin Fuck your you your path big, big man. Time, yep. even you know vaping in itself smoking weed if you think about it the broad picture most of the people that do it don't really have goals i feel like bro was the last was the last time you see a multimillionaire from high school that started vaping yeah bro Never, bro Ever, ever, or a weed smoker, maybe, maybe. If you fucking say Elon Musk, I'm gonna come and smack you, bro. <laughs> Shut up. Does like, Elon Musk vape, bro? He he smoked weed on Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah, like, he took like one puff, bro. Like, yeah. Shut up. So, you've never seen a guy who smokes weed successful. Maybe there's some, yeah. Maybe some losers, yeah. whatever. Like, I just, I mean, I think in general, I don't. I've never tried weed. I don't know how it makes you feel and stuff, but you know. If there's any chance that weed is going to make me lazy, if weed is going to make me tired, you know, why? I don't just, I don't see a reason to do it, you know? Bro, like, I like how we, we, you and me, we actually don't have the time to be tired. Like, yeah. we have so much shit to do in yeah. our day, bro. We don't have time to be tired. Like, I can't, like, 
so yeah. much shit, bro. The last thing I'm doing is taking a drug That's to make making me you tired. Sore. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. If I want to be tired, I'm going to the gym for three hours. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm working on my business for three hours. I am not taking, you know, I, I don't want to take a drug or something to make me feel like I'm worth something. You know, like I should be able to be in the present moment and be, I don't want to say in love with myself, but I want to, I want to feel good about myself without, you know, having to take a, a drug to do it, you know? So Austin, what's your thoughts on corn and jerking off? I think corn, you know, for me, I stopped watching it two, two and a half years ago. I actually stopped because of someone called Spiritual Soul. He helped me you know, realize how bad it is for my mental health. You know, I think in general, you know, nothing against you if you watch it, but I think in general, if you are watching it, it's unhealthy dopamine, you know? You're in bed and you're just watching something that isn't unre- it's unrealistic expectations, you know? It's not gonna help you reach whatever gets any amount of money. You're gonna be nervous around girls. That's the big thing. I, you know? That's, that's, that's what I was gonna say. Like, you're gonna be sexualizing girls, which you don't. All right, so... Camera died. Again. Corn. It's whatever. So we were talking about corn. So where were we? Why it's bad for you. Why it's bad for you. Yes, sir. Let's so go. corn is a source of unhealthy dopamine. You know, healthy dopamines are going to the gym, getting eight hours of great sleep a night, eating healthy, you know, not eating fried food. But corn is a good example of, you know, you didn't earn dopamine. You know, corn jacking off, you know. It's sad that it's so normalized nowadays, you know? Like, I'll tell someone how it has changed my life to be on NoFap. You know, I don't, I don't sexualize girls as much. I'm not nervous around girls. I don't care who you are, bro. Like, I'm not nervous around you. Like, you might be pretty, but I care about what's, like, actually in your heart. You know, like, I care about the energy around you. Like, like I don't care how bad you are. I don't care... If you're a 10 out of 10. Like, if you're, me and Austin, we've, we've been through, like, so much shit. Like, we don't get nervous on, like, yeah. I don't get nervous on our anymore. Like, I don't care. Like, I've been through so much shit, bro. Like, I don't care. And, like, if you're jerking off and, like, all day, like, four or five times a day, like, when you wake up, whatever, right? And then you're like, yo, why am I not getting girls, bro? Why am I not playing? Why do I have acne on my face? Why do I feel lethargic? Why am I sad? Bro, you know what the problem is. You have the solution, too. Go yeah, fat. man. Watch Austin videos. Austin videos. Austin videos. Austin videos. Go go buy his training program, Woo! bro. Go get your shit up right there, bro. Yeah. Link in the description. Two weeks training program. I'm be an online coach. But in general, you know, watching corn is it's not good for your soul. You know, like you can say whatever. You can say, oh, it's it's normal. It's you know, it's healthy to do it. But mentally, it is not healthy. I don't I don't care. You know what? Who you are? For me. If I were to tell you, if you genuinely want to listen to me and you were wondering why you're not confident in yourself, corn could be a big reason. You know, I used to stutter every day, seventh, eighth grade, stutter every sentence. F- suddenly, when I stopped watching corn, my stutter went away for some reason. Some reason, bro. They're some not, reason. God knows. God knows. Only, only God knows. And but, me. Okay, God. so. Okay, Austin. So, Austin, you've told me not to watch corn. You've told me not to j- jerk off. How do I stop? How do you stop? This is a great question. It's a lot easier when you're two, three weeks into it, not watching it, to not jack off because you already, you know, have momentum. It's not a part of your lifestyle. You have to make it not your identity. You have to say to yourself, you know, I don't do this anymore. Yeah, I feel like people say, I quit. Let's, I quit. Like, quitting is, like, temporary. If you say, yeah. like, like, look, I don't watch porn, you're going to be, like, it's a whole different mindset. Like, let's say you, let's say you walk into a bar, right? Like, drinking bar whatever you walk in there you, you give you give an alcoholic a drink he's like nah bro i i, I quit and you give yeah. austin the drink and he's like nah i don't i don't do alcohol there's a huge difference so your mindset should be look i don't watch porn Save i yourself. think a great way to when you're starting to stop when you're starting to stop it sounds funny but i think a great way is to not count the days people are like oh i've been on nofap for 67 days and i'm going strong i'm trying to get 80 days but I think when you just try to forget about the days, you know, you just say, oh, I'm going to focus on whatever it is in life, my schoolwork, my business, getting in better shape, feeling better about myself. You know, I think when you just focus on better aspects and different aspects of life and you don't focus on not doing it, 
rather than focusing on doing something else, you know, it, it'll be so much easier. You know, like, I don't know the exact day, the last day that I, you know, watched it, but I know it's, it's a lot easier when you're not, you know, day this. Um, Cause then you have a mindset that you're like trying to hold on to something that you can just, it's easier to just let go of it if you feel like it's not a part of your life anymore. Yeah, and to add on to that, I was going to say, like, I'm trying to frame this right. How do you become the social king? How do you become the social king of your high school? And how do you become the top G of your high school? Like, you were. You were definitely top G, bro. I was top G? Easily, bro. Top, bro, best in shape. You don't pull any bitches now. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, well, uh, I mean, I feel like you shouldn't be trying to chase being popular, especially in high school. Because usually the popular kids, I don't want to say I was popular, usually the popular kids are the people that, you know, don't have something going for them. You know, you're going to parties, you're trying to chase unhealthy pleasure, unhealthy dopamine. I feel like if you have something going for you, it'll come to you if it's if God wants you to have, you know, whatever this amount of clout. But I don't think it's healthy to chase being the king of your high school. But I think you should just focus on you know, whether it's making more money, whether it's getting a better shape one day at a time. And then if it's meant to be, I mean, it'll happen. But I think in general, trying to chase being popular, it's not a good uh, and healthy way to live. Just like trying to chase fame. You know, I obviously want more followers. I want a bigger community because this is my business. But at the end of the day, I know no matter how many followers I have, I always want to be true to myself. I always want to push out the best content. I'm not going to chase viral videos. I'm not going to chase doing degenerate and doing bad stuff for views. You know, if I get more famous, I want to be a positive impact in the world. You know, I don't want to be a negative impact. Yeah, so let's let's end off on a positive note. Don't watch watch corn, kids. (laughs) Go find a hustle if you can. Go flip some stuff on eBay. Get in the gym. Part- First thing you need to go to get in the gym. Yeah, man. Follow us on Instagram. Follow me. Sostenless. Ashaz. I think if, I'll just put it in the bio. FX. Shaz FX. Yes, yeah, whatever, bro. Uh, and yeah, try to surround yourself with killers because you don't want to stay killable. You don't want to be a piece of shit. You want to be a top G, obviously. Don't chase girls. Chase your success because you're going to lose... If you chase unhealthy he, dopamine, he, you will not. Hey, man, I saw a quote. His name was Omar on Instagram. You know, I actually, I posted the quote. It was, if you chase butterflies, they simply fly, fly away. If you build a beautiful garden, the butterflies will come. And if they don't, you still have a beautiful garden that you worked hard for and that you should be proud of. That's a great quote to end it off. Hey, man, link in bio if you are interested in getting any merch. And give us some topics to talk talk on next time. Yeah. All right, let's go smoke some weed, bro. (laughs) We're here, let's smoke (laughs) weed! No!